Hi, this is JB from Nautilus over Arkham. This time we are continuing our run through the Return to the Forgotten Age campaign with Bennywise and we are playing the Doom of Estli scenario. Last time we got 7 experience from the last scenario, so let's see what we upgraded into Benny's deck. So with Adaptable I removed two fine clothes and replace them with I'm out of here so they are really good in this scenario at least in the original one uh, I yet don't know how the return to version works but hopefully it's something similar then uh, we upgraded the switch blades to switch blade level 3s uh, I am playing taboo so the switch blades are three experience instead of two and I also removed one lucky secret case and replace it with sharp vision because uh, Benny needs a bit more help in the investigation area uh, other than that the deck is uh, the same as before so let's go into the scenario we are starting at the new entryway location it has uh, changed it a bit uh, so now you can use the ability in a, each location instead of just in the entryway on the location but uh, we don't have torches so that doesn't uh, affect that, us that much there are a lot of new locations that replaced the old ones or are brand new so we will be seeing them again the, uh, the exploration deck uh, is constructed in a new way so there are no encounter cards in it only locations at the start and each time you successfully explore you add one encounter card into the exploration deck there are slight changes throughout but we will get to them when they appear so that is enough of the deck and scenario so let's get started if you like my content, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. I have reshuffled the deck, so let's draw our opening hand. Uh, we get uh, Miss Doyle, upgraded switchblade, lucky cigarette case, liquid courage and lucky. I think we don't need the liquid courage right at the start. I could keep the lucky cigarette case and maybe play it uh, a bit later other than that uh, the hand looks fine maybe we need a bit more help in investigating but let's see so uh, yeah so let's just draw one more so we get the sharp vision that will help us investigate a bit better in the start of the scenario so i'll shuffle the uh, uh, player deck again and we are ready to start. So, I think uh, we need three clues to advance, so we might as well investigate here. Uh, we are investigating two versus two, but we have a lucky in hand, so. We might as well try it. Uh, Switchblade we don't need to play, but I think I'll play Miss Doyle as a first action. So maybe we get a good cat to help us in the investigation. Okay, so we pick this one and we get Hope. So Hope will help us evade better that's uh, usually a good thing there are a lot of snake people in the encounter deck so we might not be able to fight them effectively so rather than that I think we'll try to evade them a bit more uh, Second action. 
I think I'll just investigate. Uh, I will take one damage on Miss Doyle and investigate. Uh, I'm investigating three versus two. Uh, we get a minus one, but I'll play lucky. So we succeed and we get this clue. Uh, last action, I think I'll take a resource. Because with the fine print weakness, we really want to have enough resources to be able to deal with that. So that is my turn. No enemies. We go to upkeep. I draw a card. I get to watch this and I gain one resource. Uh, so that is the first turn. Let's go to the next turn. So we start by adding a doom. The first encounter card is. Uh, final mistake. Test agility 2. This test gets plus 1 difficulty for each doom on your location. If you fail, take 2 damage. I think I'll commit to uh, watch this to the test. I'll take 1 damage on Benny and I'll commit all of the resources to the test. So I am testing uh, 6 versus 2. And we get a zero, so it has by a lot. Uh, we get three resources from what this, so we have six, and that will help us a lot. Okay, uh, first action. I think we'll start uh, exploring. So just quickly, I can't remember if I shuffled this or not. So I'll just reshuffle the exploration deck. Uh, first, explore. Snake pit is not attached. Uh, we get ancient halls that is attached. So we move there. There is one clue and a shroud of three. An ancient hall enters play with one doom per investigator on it. So we add a one. Doom there, and this is a new location, and we succeeded. So we shuffle one card from the encounter deck to the exploration deck. And uh, flip one Doom on Ancient House to their clue side. Uh, check your supplies. If you have a compass, uh, flip one Doom on Ancient House with clue side to group in front. Okay, so we could do that as a fast action, but I'll just as oh yeah, we need to shuffle the snake bit also into the exploration deck. So I will uh, use the one action to change this to a clue, and then I will investigate, and uh, we are investigating two versus. Three. But I will commit sharp vision to the test, so we get plus three to the test. So I'm investigating five versus three, but I'll take the damage. So we are six versus three. I think three up is good chance to get both of the clues with sharp vision. It's a minus one. So, we succeed by two or more, we get uh, both of the clues, and that's it. Uh, let's see, um, we could advance, I think I'll advance next turn. So, uh, we go to upkeep, we draw a card, gain one resource. So now we have enough resources to deal with the fine print weakness. If it comes up and that is that turn let's go to the next turn okay let's add another doom encounter card for this turn is grip chill uh, well 
if we have to discard something we can just discard hope because it's an asset uh, so I'm testing three versus four yeah I, I think I won't commit anything to this uh, we get a minus three so we fail and uh, we'll discard hope unfortunately Even if we would have committed and used a Venice action, we would have probably failed. So, um, first action. Uh, before the first action, I'll advance. I'll spend the three clues. So, we shuffle the set aside chamber of time location into the exploration deck. That is also a new location. Actually, actually, all of the locations I think are new. Uh, check your supplies. If any investigator has chalk, remove this act from the game. Well, Benny has chalk, so we remove it. Otherwise, it would have become uh, Vengeance 1. Then we have Act 2 Magics and Science Explore, uh, like usual. Objective only investigators in the chamber of time may spend the required set number of clues as a group to advance, and we need two clues. Okay, let's give the exploration deck a quick shuffle. Uh, first action. I think I will explore, yeah, so we get a Tomb of Ancients and it is not connected, so we search again, we get the Throne Room, that is also not connected, and then we get Sealed Passage, and that is connected. Shuffle one uh, encounter card into the exploration deck, so it is getting more trickier to explore. Okay, mm, let's see what this sealed passage does. Okay, uh, check your supplies if you have the key of Estli. So it's the exploration deck and all set aside cards for Chamber of Time and put it into play. If this is Act 1A, skip that directly to Act 2A. For the remainder of the Act, Sealed Passage is connected to the Chamber of Time and vice versa. Well, that is, isn't uh, really helpful. We don't have the key of Estli. And actually I don't even know how you get that. <laughs> Well, it, it might uh, turn up later. Uh, second action, we'll just explore again. And we hit the treachery. It's a new one, so it's a merging of timelines. Revelation, discard the top five cards of your deck. For each card in your hand that matches one of the discarded cards by title, discard that card from your hand and lose one action. Shuffle each weakness discarded by this effect back into your deck. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Then we get Peter Sylvestre. Watch this. Cherish keepsake, uh, fine print, and fire axe. So we don't have to discard anything, but we still need to shuffle the weakness back into our deck. And these are discarded. Okay, last action. I think I'll risk exploring. Well, yeah, let's risk exploring again. Let's see what we get. Uh, we get the Chamber of Time. So, because we didn't 
don't have the key of Estli. This isn't the right one, so let's check again. We get the Serpent Guardian. That's a new enemy. Let's see what it does. Okay, that guy actually hits quite a lot. Okay, so spawn. Nearest location with at least one clue aloof. While Serpent Guardian is in unengaged, its location gets plus, plus two shroud. If there are three or more vengeance points in the victory display, Serpent Guardian loses aloof and gains hunter. Okay, so uh, nearest location with clues, well, they're all equal in that regard, so. But it needs to be the nearest location. I think that means it spawns on our location. So it's aloof, it doesn't engage us, just put it there. Luckily it doesn't hit us, so enemy face, nothing happens, upkeep, we draw a card and we gain one resource. And we get the winging it, that will help us to investigate next turn, but that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at uh, 3 of 6 2. And count card for this turn is 7 of the off. Okay, so <laughs> from the last scenario, I think we have a bone to pick with this guy. It uh, engages us. It's a 3 fight, uh, 5 health, and 3 evade enemy. Victory one, and there are no vengeance points, so it doesn't have any of the extra rules. Uh, I think uh, we go to the investigation phase, and I think as a fast action, I'll play the switchblade, and we start stabbing the uh, snake. So I'll take one damage. I'll commit quick thinking to the test. So we are fighting uh, 5, 6, 7, 8 versus 3. We get a 0, we gain an additional action and we do 2 damage to the Serpent of Yoth. Uh, I'll use the extra action, I will step again. I'm uh, hitting uh, 5 versus so I am two up minus two. Uh, we deal one damage. Uh, we'll hit again uh, five versus three. And it's a zero, so we succeed by two or more. We deal two damage, so this uh, Serpent of Yoth is defeated and it goes to the victory display. So this time we managed to deal with that guy pretty easily. Uh, last action, I think I will risk exploring, because now there shouldn't be any, any enemy, any uh, encounter cards in here. So the first one is the Grand Chamber and it is connected so we move there so shroud of two and one clue uh, action check your supplies if you have a map and there are no clues on grand chamber or the remainder of the scenario and its resolution grand chamber loses vengeance one and gains victory one uh, group limit once per game well we don't have a map so that will be a vengeance one uh, enemy face, nothing happens. We go to upkeep, we draw a card, and we get resource. And that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We are at 4 of 6 2. And counter card for this turn is uh, Obscuring Fog. Well, unluckily, we didn't have the chance to 
explore, uh, investigate this location, but I think uh, first action I will commit uh, winging it to the test. I will also take one damage Penny's ability and we'll investigate. Uh, so the shroud is four and we are uh, shroud is three and we are investigating it. Uh, we have a three investigate, yeah. So hopefully we can. Uh, hopefully uh, we need a zero base to succeed. Uh, it's a minus three. Uh, we don't succeed. I think we'll just leave this as it is and continue, so let's explore. Oh yeah, um, we should have uh, added one encounter card to the exploration deck when we succeeded last turn. It's <laughs> still really easy to forget that. Uh, you're so used to the old way of the uh, encounter and exploration deck working, so... Okay. Uh, Second action will investigate. Uh, we get Chamber of Time, it's not connected, and we get the uh, Vengeful Serpent. It's a hunter. Force after you draw Vengeful Serpent, draw each Vengeful Serpent in the victor display as well. It's a Vengeance Zero. Okay, so this guy fails the exploration, but now there shouldn't be any more. Encounter cards in here and in engages us, and we will stab it with the switchblade for our last action. Uh, we are hitting five versus two. <laughs> okay, it's a minus five. We don't hit. That is our turn. So. Uh, enemy face that vengeful serpent hits. Hits one four and one damage. Uh, yeah. That is the enemy face. We go to upkeep. We draw Augur. That is actually really good. And we gain one resource. And that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Let's add another Doom, so we are 5 of 6, and counter card is Obscuring Fog, yeah, uh, limit once per location, so this basically just whips, uh, there's a limit one per location, so we can't put it in play, and it doesn't do anything, that's actually really good news. Uh, investigation is first action, uh, let's stab the Vengeful Serpent. 5 versus 2. It's a 0, so we deal 2 damage. Uh, this goes into the victory display, but it's still Vengeance 0, so it doesn't affect us in any way. At the moment, the fast action, I will play Ogre. I will use Ogre to investigate. Let's at least try, try to get this clue. Uh, 5 versus 2 and uh, sorry 5 versus 4 so still we succeed and this obscuring prop is discarded uh, second act uh, that was the second action third action we will uh, explore because there are, are no count cards here we get the throne room and that is connected and uh, actually let's See, uh, we could change the layout a bit because these are all connected to the entryway. This guy was in the ancient halls. Uh, no, it's in the sealed passage. So this comes into play. Uh, we move there, and there is one clue here. Shroud of 5, 
while throne room has two monies, it is considered to be in the victory display for the purposes of counting ventures. If there are no clues or doom on throne room, record mysterious scepter in your supplies. Okay, uh, groom limit once per game. Okay, so something new to the supplies there. And it has vengeance and victory of one. But that is our turn. Uh, enemy phase, nothing happens. We go to upkeep. Uh, we draw one card. We get the uh, I'm out of here and we gain one resource. And that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, be and before I forget, uh, again, uh, we add one card from the encounter deck to the exploration deck. Okay. So, uh, we are at six of... Oh, sorry, uh, the threshold hold is plus one doom per investigator, so it's actually seven, not six. And we add the sixth doom of seven. Uh, encounter card for this turn is a Vengeful Serpent. After you draw a Vengeful Serpent, draw each Vengeful Serpent in the victory display. So this guy actually comes back. <laughs> okay, now I'm uh, beginning to see how these guys can be really annoying at least in solo solo game so we have instead of one we have two so I think this turn will be involving quite a lot of stabbing uh, first action we'll stab the green vengeful serpent I'm uh, hitting five versus two with the switchblade it's a skull and skull is minus one if uh, minus three if there is Two money location, so we hit and this goes into the victory display. Uh, we use the second action to hit this other uh, vengeful serpent. Again, five versus three. It's a cultist. Is X is the number of location with two on them. It's a zero, so we hit in a, uh, with high enough and it goes into the victory display so I'm hoping I won't draw the third uh, vengeful serpent because then those guys all come into play and that's not good I think the shroud here is so high that I just did use ogre by exhausting and discarding to automatically succeed in investigating this location so we get that clue it, uh, if there are uh, there is now the action. If there are no clues or doom on throne room, record the mysterious scepter in your supplies. So next turn, I think we'll try to get that uh, mysterious scepter. But enemy face, nothing happens. Upkeep, we draw a card. Uh, we get the red balloon and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. And now we have a seven of seven doom. So, no Doom on location. Uh, there is a pause effect when this agenda advances. Do not remove Doom from each location you play. But there are none, luckily. So, spawn the set aside Harbinger of Palusia at location with the most Doom. Well, let's look at the new Harbinger. And we can basically spawn it anywhere because there's no doom in play. So the new harboring air, uh, the sleeper returns. It's a two fight, ten health per investigator and four evade enemy. Humanoid monster serpent elite alert hunter retaliate. While this enemy has five or more damage per investigator on it, it gets minus uh, plus two fight and minus two evade. Forced after a successful attack or evasion attempt against this enemy ends, place one resource on it. Then, if there are two resources per investigator on it, it vanishes with a sinister hiss. Set it aside out of play, it keeps all damage tokens. So, vengeance 5 hits for 2 damage and 2, two horror. Uh, I think we will spawn it at the entryway. The 
farthest place from us. And I think we need some location con connectors now because it's getting a bit messy. So let me know where we are going. Okay. Actually, yeah, these are also connected. Let's uh, switch these locations around because these are also connected. Uh, and yeah, so that is the agenda advancing. The agenda 2A is the same as before. It has a doom threshold of 12 plus 1 doom uh, per investigator, so 13. Uh, and counter card for this turn is uh, Creeping Poison. It searches because we are not poisoned. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> So this turn will be killing off all of these, but at least when we manage to kill all, all of these, then they can't come back. So it's better that they come now, that we have a bit of breathing room, uh, than later. Uh, yeah, so first action, I think I'll commit the fire axe to the first step of the first. I'll, I won't even mark them because killing them right away. So I'm fighting 6 versus 2. It's a 0. The first one is defeated. Second action, I'll hit the second one. Uh, I think we'll hold on to the red balloon for now. Uh, 5 versus 2. It's a 0. And the last one. We'll hit by first two. And it's an auto fail. So we don't hit. We take one damage and one uh, horror at the enemy phase. Uh, we go to upkeep. Yeah, enemy phase this uh, on. Yeah, this is the shortest. So it comes to the grand chamber. And we go to upkeep, so we draw quick thinking, and we gain one resource. And that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom, and the encounter card is uh, <laughs> a new enemy. It's a Tindalus Alpha. So it is monster, extra dimensional, Tindalus, alert, retaliate. Forced after Tindalus Alpha attacks you, shuffle a non story asset you control into your deck, moving all damage and horror from that asset to your investigator. Discarding Tindalus Alpha. Forced at the end of the enemy phase, discard Tindalus Alpha. And it comes in. in engage with us. Uh, I'll think. Mark this. Uh, first action, I think we'll evade the Tindalus Alpha. Uh, but first, I think I'll just uh, stab this Vengeful Serpent. I'll you commit the quick thinking to the test. I'm uh, stabbing it uh, 6 versus 2. It's a minus one. Uh, we get the extra action from quick thinking. This guy is defeated. Now we don't ever have to worry about those three guys again. Uh, the free action. I will commit red balloon to the evade. And I also take uh, one damage on... I'm, yeah, I'm uh, in... Evading uh, 7 vs 4. 
I hit some minus three, so we barely succeed. And uh, this guy is evaded. And at the end of the round, it will discard itself. Then uh, we'll do the action to record that we found the mysterious scepter. And last action, I will explore. Oh uh, yeah, somehow I thought there were no <laughs> enemies in there anymore. Oh dear, this this is really bad. Oh uh, no, this this might actually kill us. Okay, well it is what it is. I think we may have to possibly replay this scenario, but let's see. Uh, it uh, engages us. That's the investigation phase. Uh, we go to enemy phase. Uh, this guy comes here. Uh, Harpringer hit us for two damage and two horror. We'll take the uh, one horror and one damage on. Miss Doyle, so Miss Doyle is defeated. I will just remove the cats from the decks. We're defeated, uh, we'll die from damage because this guy also hit us for one and one. And we actually died to the Heartbringer, so yeah. That was an unfortunate turn of events. Uh, my mistake basically because uh, you shouldn't explore with one uh, action left if you have any encounter cards in there. So. So let's see, before resolving any other resolution, if at least one investigator was defeated, the defeated investigator reads the investigator defeat first. Check campaign log if there are four or more tally marks under Yig's Fury. Uh, each investigator who, has who was defeated is killed. Well, if there isn't, if there is, are three or fewer tally marks under Yig's Fury, record Three tally marks under Yig's Fury. If another resolution was reached, the remaining investigators proceed to that resolution. If no, no resolution was reached, each investigator was defeated, go to resolution 3. So we go to resolution 3. Uh, the investigator must decide, choose one. We can't stop now. We have to go back inside. We proceed to resolution 4. It's too dangerous. This place must be destroyed. Proceed to resolution 5. Well, for the sake of this uh, campaign, I think I'll pick uh, resolution 4. The investigator must uh, replay scenario 2, the Doom of Esli. Reset the game in this scenario's setup. Do not record anything in your campaign log except for any trauma suffered from the previous game. So we got one physical trauma. Uh, no experience points are earned from your previous game. Any player whose investigator was killed or driven insane must choose a new investigator to play this normal. During setup, when the entry is put into play, place one doom on it for each time this resolution has been reached. So we put one doom on the entryway when we reset this scenario. Uh, that was the game. I will be replaying this scenario, so look forward to that one if we can managed to get through it the next try but thanks for watching and until next time